Never in my life did I think this would happen. I, Black Panther, guy that plays car brum brum racing game videos and gives opinions on as such, is, well, being threatened of being sued by an NFT racing game. <laughs> but let, let, let's bring it back. What the hell is going on here? If you follow the channel, you may know this video right here. It's a video where I essentially found these multiple NFT racing games and kind of joked and played and pretty much reviewed footage that they themselves uploaded to their YouTube channel. This is public domain. I'm giving my opinion and pretty much, I'm not even doing that. I'm literally laughing at how generic this game looks. You're allowed to give your opinion on anything you want. I'm allowed to show your footage. If you had an issue with me showing footage, well, you could have actually taken up with YouTube. You could try and take down the video, but you didn't. What you did instead was send me an email threatening me that you're gonna sue me. As a wise man once said, you play with feathers, you get your ass tickled. This was the email that I received. We're gonna go through it, but I wanna start with the point later in the email. To as soon as possible, publish a rectification on the same channel which you clarify the comments and illegal actions have been carried out without real knowledge of the project, requesting the corresponding apologies. So you want an apology? I will give you my apology. I am sorry that I found your game Maybe if you showed a little bit more worth of the game, then I may reconsider. But, you know, when it comes to games, everyone's allowed an opinion. And as a gaming racing YouTuber, you thought to seek me out and specifically say, oh, you can monetize your subscribers. You didn't tell me anything about the game, why it's unique. You didn't tell me nothing. But what you did tell me is that I can make money off my subscribers and that's that. <laughs> Excuse me? That's not usually the way that this kind of situation works. Normally you would say, this is the game. This is how much, like this, this is all the stuff in the game. You literally said, you can monetize your subscribers. I think instead of doing that, they should go to panther.store. That would be better, yeah. <laughs> okay, let's go through the email together. At Street Runner, I keep wanting to say Street Hunter. If I was being sued by TJ, that would be a little bit more, you know, I'd, I'd be crying. At Street Runner, we've been observing that you are publishing completely false, harmful, and illegal videos against the, our project on your YouTube channel, at Black Panther YT. Okay, so uh, I don't even want to say it, but that's a, that's a great YouTube channel. I like that one. <laughs> false? harmful and illegal videos. Not once in this email did they say what was illegal about it. The only possible thing that I can even think remotely could be it is at the bottom of the email, after you have read it, they've got the email address to specific reci recipient, therefore it's confidential. But it doesn't take a genius to do a quick Google. Pretty basic knowledge. As with confidentiality notice, there are no legal authorities on email disclaimers. Wow. I have no knowledge of law whatsoever, but you know, that's not very surprising. It's a f email. I didn't sign an NDA. I didn't do it. <laughs> Let me be clear. I respect confidentiality and I respect keeping things hidden. Like I don't want to ruin people's games as such. The game is already public. You didn't even start the email saying it's confidential. You have no footing to say it's false. It's false for me laughing at footage you uploaded to your channel. It's literally right here. This is not edited. You can see my frame rate of my PC is running fine. This footage is running at mega low frames. It's swapping between. I laughed at it. It's funny. You're talking about suing? How about we tell Toyota that you're literally using a Supra to advertise your NFT game? It's literally a f***ing Supra. You actually want to play that game, do you? These f***s are calling my content illegal. They've got literally the Castrol Supra livery in the game. You want to play that game? Game. In addition to publishing confidential information they have no rights to publish, what? I already told you, email is not confidential. Here's the original email that they fired through. As you can see, uh, there's nothing about confidential. I didn't show anything that can't be shown. It's, it's, it's what is there to see that could possibly have been under any NDA, which I didn't sign. Oh, would you look at that? The very information you were talking about on the email is publicly available. The time trial tournaments. Mmm, get the f over yourselves, actually. For this reason, we're already taking criminal and civil judicial act, whatever. I don't, it's a load of waffles. Street Runner is a dynamic project in which many people are employed, as you will understand. We're not going to allow that. Without knowledge of the work Street Runner is carrying out, you insult, slander, 
and make misleading advertising regarding the product. Misleading advertising regarding the product. That's just, that, that just. <laughs> insult, uh, there is nothing wrong with insulting. And it's seek out members of staff and insult them and appearance or any, that would, I guess, have some kind of leeway. But genuinely, you use text to speech actors. You can't even say that I took the piss out of your actors, considering they're not real. Slander. Now, this is a word that's thrown around the internet quite a lot. The problem is, have you ever searched the definition of slander? Make false and damaging statements. Hmm, false statements. Man laughs at video game that is visibly and bad. <laughs> you try sue man that says game bad. You know, you could probably find someone out there on the internet that's bigger than me. I'm uh, pretty much nobody in the sphere of YouTube. You could find somebody who will probably advertise your game and say, oh my God, this is the best game ever and pay them a few grand and they will do just that. However, I'm not that guy. Unfortunately, you found the wrong one that made a little ha-ha video about your game. However, this obviously then takes it to another level in the fact that you're trying to sue me for literally calling your game bad. Can you? <laughs> They're not even American. Like, I would compl I kind of understand a little bit if it was an American studio, because Americans just sue, 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 sue as much as they can because they can get a little bit. Th this studio is not American. For this reason, we ask you in a maximum of three days, uh, email <laughs> six days ago, <laughs> roofing your channel slanderous content towards our project, refrain from publishing more harmful content towards Street Runner. I don't know if there's much more to show, to be honest. And to as soon as possible, publish <laughs> a rectification of the same channel to which you clarify the comments <laughs> and illegal actions have been carried out without real knowledge of the project requesting the corresponding apologies. Otherwise, we will give course to legal actions that are being prepared. We remain attentive to your response. And you know what? I'm not responding to this email. Who's to say that I got this email? Maybe uh, this is someone else's email account and uh, this channel belongs to a different person. I'm a ghost. You can't see me. <laughs> You're broken if you think anyone would respond to an email like that. I have no problem that the fact that the game exists. I think that's fine. It's cool to see indie small projects being a thing. Uh, however, I gave my opinion in that your game looks shite. Let me be clear, I am quite a critical person in that I complain about Forza, I complain about New Speed, I complain about Gran Turismo, the big games. So if you don't think I can complain about a small game, there's something amiss, you know? <laughs> if you think it's an issue for me to give my opinion on some footage you posted on your channel, yet these AAA publishers literally give me access to games to demonstrate and show them, you know, maybe you need a slightly different approach. Anyway, to sum it up, I thought this whole thing was hilarious. I just, I, being sued by an NFT racing game and not by all of them either, just by that one. And of course, then the false claims that it is illegal for me to publish said video. There's nothing that's not public information in this email. If this was a game that hadn't been released yet, then you would have some footing, but you don't. Uh, this is an opinion channel. Maybe next time go to a big time YouTuber with multiple millions and say, here, yeah, advertise that game and we'll give you some money. That might actually work out a little bit better for you in your specific situation. And you can have that advice for free. Uh, normally, that would probably be something that you would have to pay for. Anyway, thanks for watching. And uh, yeah, let's see. Maybe my channel will disappear next week. <laughs> Smash like, subscribe and peace.